All right, we are in serious drone land right here. We're in the Drone uh, Expo Hall at, uh, at NAB, and I'm with Donald Scott, CEO of Taser Robotics, which is a research arm for DSLR Pros. Hi, nice to meet you. <laughs> All right, we're standing in front of a drone that's in a bucket of water here. What, it, yeah. what on earth is this? So what you're looking at is actually the first waterproof takeoff and landing drone with a three-axis waterproof uh, GoPro gimbal. Uh, you can take off and land. It's got a smart battery. It's sealed. Um, you'll actually have 1080p, 60 frame per second, near zero latency HD transmission at 1,000 meters. Uh, it's all custom made. We have a patent on it. It's made out of a special, we manufacture it in a machine that's three stories tall. I can't disclose what we're, how we're doing it yet, but in three to four months, you'll actually see the production val uh, version coming out. But it's going to be the only drone on the market, smart battery, uh, three-axis stabilized waterproof gimbal. You can put a GoPro in it. We also have a thermal and infrared camera that you can mount below it as well, too. Okay, so this is not made to film underwater. It's just made that if you happen to land on water, you're not destroying everything you own. That's correct. We, we work with a lot of National Geographic filmmakers, and one of the biggest complaints is they're flying over water trying to get that seal shot or that shark out there, and the drone sinks into the water, they lose the shot. What we've done, we've uh, inspired by those, uh, you know, that, that situation, we've actually developed this drone. You could actually, the gimbal uh, will work underwater, uh, and you can actually tilt it. But once it reaches a certain hydrodynamic pressure, it'll automatically shut off. So okay. you will be able to get some shots underneath the water and take back off, stabilize the gimbal, and actually get your shot again. So, so this doesn't have props on, but I'm looking right down into the motor, and I, I can see the windings. How is yeah. that going to not get wrecked in, uh, in underwater? Right. So these motors are actually inherently waterproof because they are brushless motors. There, aren't, there, there are no stators on there. So the water, if you look at the, the coils of wire, they're actually, uh, uh, they're, they have a special coating on it, so they're actually waterproof. Okay, so all right. if you do happen to get water in it, salt water, you want to take it just like you're on a scuba, uh, like if you're going scuba diving trip, you want to take it, dump it in fresh water, shake it out real good, make sure you get all the salts out, and you're good to go. Let it air dry, and you should be fine. Wow, definitely don't let that sit in salt water yeah, overnight. Sure. All right, the other thing Steve wanted us to talk about was we're going to walk inside the booth here and go back in and this looks like a, a this looks like a plane let's get uh, around here to steve here so this one up here it looks like a plane but i see uh propellers on the front what is right. this this is actually a unique exclusive uh version of the bird's eye view vertical takeoff horizontal flight aircraft it'll fly for about 45 minutes um, it can carry a payload of a, a gopro on a three-axis gimbal or a thermal io core which is similar to this drone that you see here that's a thermal camera and a visible camera uh, for 45 minutes, takeoff and vertical landing. So if you're doing like a damage assessment, for example, you can take this plane off, map hundreds of square miles, land back again, take the data, and give it and provide it to a first responder. So a helicopter or a quadcopter, by definition, yeah. is, is a vertical takeoff and landing. Why do you want to do it on a, on a plane? By doing this, by using this particular configuration, it, it actually allows you to fly much further, more efficiently, than a normal multi-rotor. So. That's what I was, I was gonna guess that was the answer, but uh, that was what I wanted to see. So this thing has a wingspan of about uh, four or five feet there, right? Correct, roughly. All right, any other? set up as a Y6 configuration, beautiful, low cost uh, solution. We will have a carbon fiber version coming out uh, probably early next year. So that'll, that'll be out uh, later, and it'll be more industrial, for uh, more industrial applications, commercial applications. What kind of range can you get on, with that? Well, it's a function of your flight time, your battery. It depends on how many times you're going to vertically take off and vertically land. But 45 minutes of flight time traveling at about 45 miles an hour. That's a pretty good range. Yeah, yeah. yeah that is good. Yeah. All right, so the company is Taizu Robotics. That's T-A-Y-Z-U Robotics. I think I mispronounced it at the beginning. And uh, But DSLR Pros is the parent company? That's correct. Uh, DSLR Pros is the parent company. Uh, Taizu Robotics is the R&D arm of uh, DSLR Pros. Okay, where could people go to find out more? Uh, Taizu.com or DSLRPros.com. All right, thank you very much. Thank Appreciate you. your time, Don.